everyone, this is Adrian of 992 and today we're back for another brand new video. In today's video we are here for a delicious Rangers rumour and by god does it not just make you emotional to see Rangers rumour up their player profile. It's what we've been craving for this January and it's about time we're actually here to talk about it. Now, just to be honest, every single person watching today's video, if you were expecting a goal scorer or a bagsman or that, you need to let that go right now. But if you give me the next 5 to 10 minutes of your time, you might just leave today's video a hell of a lot happier than you came in, especially with the talented player we're here to look at today. Now again, we are going to go with the Rangers rumour, that's the title, that's the thing, we're going to have to talk about this because something can go wrong at the very last minute, but as always, we only ever talk about real targets here, we didn't talk about Tom, Dick and Harry, I know people have been craving me to fire out rumour videos with this guy, this guy and this guy, but if it looks like nonsense and it smells like nonsense, it usually is nonsense, so I don't want to waste your time with clickbait pattern like that is just irrelevant but we're here to talk about a genuine target as I believe that Rangers are not only interested in the laddie but I believe Rangers are making heavy moves to bring him to this football club and it genuinely wouldn't surprise me to be sitting here very very shortly discussing him holding the old scarf up like this but before he does let's do what we always do ladies and gentlemen and have a look at the player whether or not he is signed just yet let's look to see if he should be and as always we'll start off with the old player profile but as we go ahead and do that and we go on the Mohammed the Amadi journey if you do find yourself enjoying the video anytime please consider hitting that like button I would say to continue our 13 week 1000 like a video streak but unfortunately I think that's ended in the last video as I think we only got about 750 so Apologies if the video wasn't up to the usual standard. Let's start the streak back up. Let's try and get that 1,000 marker in. Hell, if you are new around here, please start hitting that subscribe button. I'll try and bring you the genuine Rangers news and not waste your time with absolute nonsense. But aye, player profile we go. Mohamed Diamadi is the man we're here to talk about today. And that's twice now I've said his name already. You might be thinking, you've said that a lot at a lot of conference. You've said it with your chest out. CJ might actually properly pronounce her name for once in his entire life. But I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen it is me and you know my track record with this so if I'm mispronouncing the name I do apologise I'm not trying to be disrespectful or trying to be clever at it's me I'm just a wee bit silly but I want to talk about the player so I want to ref lovingly refer him to it as his nickname that she'll be christened now right here on the channel we will call him Dio Trips you know what I mean we had Gio as a player absolutely loved him we had Gio as a manager Sometimes loved them. And now we have Dio. And Dio is a 22-year-old centre midfielder who is left-footed and he comes from Ivory Coast. Now, he's a player that's known for his quick feet, his willingness to take people on, and his skill and technique in the middle of the park. And it's funny, right, because he gets such a high write-up. He gets so much praise and plaudits, and there is a lot of hype behind the laddie. And it doesn't matter if you've seen him play live, whether it's been in the Conference League, if he's watched any of that this year, or anything like that, or if you've just seen clips of him. There is a nice... 90% chance if you went and searched this guy's name to watch him play football, you've seen him on the half turn and you've seen him turning away for a player, you try and thread the needle, you try and start an attack, or you've seen a, an example of those quick feet in his ability to beat a man because that is how he plays the game. It is forward thinking and again, he is a type of player that's willing to beat a man, then hit the pass rather than play the pass to beat the man, which is something a lot of our midfielders do and it drives us absolutely mental to have to watch and watch and that extra pass and that extra pass. Well, this player is a guy that likes to get on the ball and tries to make it actually happen. And if you caught yesterday's video of Dumbarton, we did leave a wee nugget at the end of that video talking about left-footed players. We need to go ahead and sign some more left-footed players just to balance out the actual squad. Well, that's what we're looking to be doing with the man. But I think it's something that needs to give a lot of credit for. If you look at his assist and you really get into the numbers, he's actually had nearly as many assists on his right foot as he has on his left, which is sort of the modern day football. You know what I mean? Not too many players are actually truly one-footed these days. I think the most one-footed player we've seen now is probably the likes of Joe Rebo, for example. But mostly, every player is comfortable. And that's the way they get trained. They come through the academies that way. And he's just another example of that modern-day footballer. So he is left-footed, but then he panic. He's not completely one-footed or anything. Very comfortable and very skillful. And, you know, for the player profiles, we try and bring 
an example or a comparison to a player to try and paint the picture of what would be could, could be potentially bringing in to the football club and it's never oh it is that player or it is that it's what they're cut from you know what I mean a similar type of player so you get a wee sense of what we're getting and there's someone that is constantly in my mind when I've been looking at this guy for the last couple days there is one player that really brings it and I'm sure it's going to upset some people on the channel and I'm very nervous to see it but this laddie reminds me of the very very best of Glenn Kamara that's right I went and said Mr Saucy 5k who is absolutely loving life in Leeds by the way and they've already got a song from they're already turning heads with his performances but I'm not saying he is exactly like a Kamara but you know how Kamara had that skill and he would be quick feet and he could turn he could take the ball in tight areas do a wee drop of the shoulder and get us gone it used to get the crowd up and it used to spring a counter attacks and spring attacks something I think we've lacked in the middle of the field as we mostly have bruisers these days if you think about it you know what I mean guys that like to get stuck in and they their job graft their arse off but we've not really got that skill and technique in that midfielder role and I think this laddie is cut from the same cloth as that. Again, he scores a lot more goals, he gets a lot more assists than Glenn Kamara, which would be absolutely delighted to actually hear, but that's the type of player profile you're actually looking at. A very skillful midfielder who does put yourself a boot. Now hopefully you're not too nervous or shouting at me for that comparison but I think you'll see right away when he starts pulling on the shirt he will remind you that because again the day off are something different and a Rangers team that's going to dominate 99.9% .9 of the game sometimes you need that bit of skill and technique to unlock the actual doors and I'm sure the big man if he does come up the road and host the scarf very soon will be doing that for us but moving away from the player profile then shall we let's get to the numbers and stats because it's a number and stat generation that's all people want to know well, let's get to it then, shall we? So far this season, the 22-year-old midfielders actually played 21 games in all competitions, both in the Danish Super League and obviously having some European experience as well through the, the, the Conference League qualifiers and then in the actual Conference League itself where he's played a total of seven European matches this season in which he has two assists, which is nice to actually see. And overall for the season, he's played 21 games in all competitions in which he has five assists, which again, maybe not the biggest, eye dropping stats but it is an assist from the middle of the part one every just over four games just under the five game mark which is actually pretty damn impressive especially when you look at this season especially over the last couple weeks couple months it's been clear the laddie's maybe going to be moving on you know what I mean he's been a real mainstay despite being 22 over the last couple seasons he's been playing a lot of minutes and his minutes have been sort of getting chopped away a little bit by the manager this season as it's been clear the laddie's been wanting to move on and wants to move on it's just been the end of the cycle so to have five uh, assists for uh, in 21 games for the minutes that he's played it's pretty damn impressive and son this guy right here can get behind. But to be fair to everyone watching, it wasn't exactly this season that really turned the eyes. He's had some good European performances, some good rating in the Conference League, but it was the season before that really got this guy heating up and everybody starting to look at him. The likes of Galatasaray was interested and tried to make a move for the player last year because of the season before. At the age of just 21, he played 37 games in all competitions. And in those 37 games he had 7 goals and 4 assists which is 11 goal contributions in 37 games as a 21 year old for the middle of the park. That is why I'm pretty damn excited Troops as he is a very attack minded midfielder and he just seems to tick a box we have been badly, badly needing. He's not a 10. He's not going to sit there in the Lammers position or the camp. He's not that type of player. He gets these goals he gets these assists from the actual centre of the part because of his runs because of his timings and again 11 goal contributions in 37 is again right up there in terms of impressive numbers but if you actually dive into Mary the nerdier stats his expected goals um, expected assists to be fair is a lot higher as he's been sort of let down by those ahead of him so he should actually have more assists based on the chance creation he's been doing per game but again let down going forward now I would say that should change right here and his assist number should total right up but where we sit right now one and an assist every four games is probably what it's going to remain. And truthfully, to finish up his football and TV, which is a bit daft to do at 22, but that's what we do right here on the channel. At the age of, you know what it is by now, he's played 118 games, 15 goals and 14 assists. By the way, chucking the 26 yellow cards, and that's a very excited CG because you might have heard skillful and technique, blah, blah. This guy does 
put yourself about in the middle of the park as well and anyone worried that he's going to get bullied because he might be a skillful this or skillful that let's remember who our manager actually is he wouldn't be signing off on anyone we know what he requires on that park he wants battlers he wants fighters so everyone take a breath and look at this guy's CV 26 yellow cards for the middle of the park as well is what we love to see and the amount of games that he's played at 22 is sensational as well as touch wood touch everyone pray to Tom Cruise if you want this man so far in his career has it been hit by the injury bug he's actually robust and can play games <sighs> I'm so damn happy right now so you're hearing robust you're hearing skillful you're hearing attack minded centre mid by goodness gracious is it something we've been badly needing and that's it in terms of the numbers that's it in terms of the player profile all that's left to do is talk about the rumour itself and the competition for places and we'll maybe go competition for places I think he is badly needed in the middle of the park we know our injury situation in terms of midfielders we know who we can trust to play a certain amount of games we know who we can't and it's definitely a body there because Dijon Sterling has been sensational for this football club and I'm taking nothing away from the lad the guy could have a future genuinely in the middle of the park but we should never be as Rangers football club in a position to go into like say a cup final having to play a backup fullback in the middle of the park nothing off Sterling I'm not taking a dig at him at all I've been so impressed with him and you know that if you've watched this channel but as a club we shouldn't be in that position so this one for me bringing in somebody like this at the age it is with the hype that he's actually going to uh, he's got sorry and again the value of what we're bringing him in he's going to be going up and up and up if he can perform on the part like he's performed all his career so far it's definitely a right move for the football club and we all wanted a different scouting location we wanted the director of football to reach out well he's dipped into this market before and had some great success Big Cop has looked at this market before so he's went back into it and picked someone else up and again Clement signed off on it so I am very very excited and I I can see him very being a very talented player right now no one a year no one a two I've seen him being a very important player for us right away if it does come up the road and that leads me to the last thing do I believe this rumour to be true yes yes I do again I'll not bring you nonsense I'll not bring you clickbait I'm not going to try and rinse money in for YouTube and not talking about this this and this when I can it's garbage if I think there's something in it I think there's genuine interest for Rangers I will sit and talk about it right here and again I think this one will be announced and I wouldn't be surprised to see a reaction video uploaded very soon on the channel and I'm very excited about the prospect of signing him but again we'll wait for the day that he actually holds up the scarf because there's medicals there's stuff to go and you know what this football club is actually like so I'll hand it over to you guys that is it for Mr. Dio itself do you are you excited are you happy is this the type of profile 22 we are stock that's only going to rise what we need at the football club and is it a position we needed to actual strength and again I believe we will be getting another two players in very shortly so let me know your thoughts and opinions down there in the old comment section below and possibly start to welcome Mr. Dio to this football club but I I've been CJ92 hopefully you enjoyed today's video I'll see you in the next one all the best and bye bye